it's very difficult to go through that as I'm sure you may know if you've been through that you know uh, how it's hard <laughs> yeah. long time no see it's time for another wild time to let you know where we're at and what we've been up to as you can see from the surroundings we're still in the desert southwest what we've been up to is been quite a few challenges that we've been working through. Things involving uh, the heat, our truck, um, work situations, uh, and our dog Barkley. Yeah, hasn't been all tragedy. There's some triumph in there too. We're gonna share it all with you in this video and stick around to the end. We've got some exciting uh, content ideas that we wanna run by you. At least they're exciting for us. We do <laughs> want your opinion on those things. So stick around and let us know. Well, the first obstacle we had to deal with was the heat. We arrived in the desert southwest about a month before we normally do. So we had a good two months of 100 plus degree days to get through. Yeah, many of those were over 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's very difficult when you're in an RV. It just seemed to be unceasing. And it went on for a long time. I mean, we had uh, half of August. Uh, September, October, and maybe half of November. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, pretty hot in, in the RV. We had both of our air conditioners uh, running, which was our roof air conditioners, and it just wasn't keeping up good enough. We had fans all over. Uh, one of our relatives uh, offered to let us use her floor uh, air conditioning unit uh, that allowed it to vent out through a window. Uh, Tammy, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. We were able to get that set up. So we had three air conditioners and a few fans to combat this. Yeah. We were just doing everything we could to stay cool. Yeah, and as you can imagine, the cost of that is is not cheap, running three air conditioners and three or four fans all the time because it doesn't cool down even at night. It's still, you know, 95 plus. So they are running nonstop. Yes. Um, so that was a lot to deal with. And then when you're running the air conditioner all the time, it's not easy to make videos um, because <laughs> it's very, very loud. Yes. and obviously outside it's way too hot. So yeah. that was definitely a, a struggle. <laughs> yeah, that was difficult in, in order to, to, to be able to get out and try to do videos or stay in and try to do yeah. them. But there's more to it, which we'll talk about in a little bit here. Another thing that we were dealing with uh, quite often was health related things and the expense that goes with them for both ourselves and our dog Barkley. And that can get very costly very quickly. Uh, yeah, so because of that, we ended up accepting uh, some temporary full-time jobs. Um, these jobs were uh, quite a bit more responsibility. They were obviously full-time. We were working 10-hour days. As you can imagine, that can be very um, physically and mentally challenging and doesn't leave you a whole lot of gas in the tank when you're done with your week. Yeah, especially when we're, we're trying to do other things uh, with, with our time. And we, we thought we had put a lot of that behind us, uh, that uh, amount of, of work, but we got into that for, what, a few months. Yeah. And so uh, we were uh, in leadership positions uh, as part of a management team, and we had several do dozen people that we were uh, helping to manage, and that was uh, quite... Uh, uh, a task and and so but it was it was quite rewarding and uh, we we enjoyed it very much as much as we we could working those <laughs> long hours so it was a little bit different to go back to that but but that, that's behind us now another thing we sadly put behind us was our time with our dog Barkley after living and traveling with him for over 14 years we finally had to say goodbye yeah it's um, it's very difficult to go through that. As I'm sure you may know if you've been through that, you know uh, how it's hard. Yeah. But um, uh, he gave us many faithful years he had lost his hearing and lost his sight, but he was still very much with us and very happy, just seemed always himself. And then suddenly he took a very rapid turn for the worst. 
and Exhausting. shortly after that we lost him so yeah it's um it's different now <laughs> <laughs> i mean every single thing that we did we had to consider barkley and rightly so in, in the beginning in our rv travels he was very active went <laughs> everywhere and was just so happy to go everywhere and do everything that we did and then he started slowing down over the years of course once he got uh, deaf and uh, blind that uh, <laughs> that affects uh, anyone quite a bit yeah. and so um but yeah it, it it's he's um as as they say you know better off now he's not suffering and everything and um uh, it is easier in some ways that we yeah. don't have to just continuously worry about him now because it was getting like that to mm -hmm. where we couldn't go anywhere or do anything at all um, because we were so concerned and we were at the vet uh, here and there and it, it so it, it does it does free us up a little bit more now we'd rather have him yeah understand but, but uh, it, it is freeing up our time to get yeah, out and, and do and some things. Yeah, and it did allow us to accept that temporary full-time position, which I don't think we would have been able to do with him in the condition he was in at no. the time. We just wouldn't have had it in our heart to leave him for that amount of time. Oh, uh, so yeah. um, there's always good things in the bad things, but the bad things um, yeah. are not fun. <laughs> Door closes another one opens type of thing yeah so anyway as you, as you can imagine um, and you might know very well yourself that it was a very difficult time um, but we're we're working through all that and uh, uh, times have been been good it's getting a lot better and, <laughs> yeah and so uh, anyway that that was uh, quite a quite, an quite ordeal a thing for us. that takes a lot of time to work through yes we were also dealing with a rather uh, fatal thing with our <laughs> truck and it had to do with the DEF system, the diesel emission fluid uh, system. That is something that was put on trucks as an apparent um, or I guess uh, they were hoping that it would do something good for the environment and, and maybe it does to <laughs> some extent but uh, it's hard to understand how all of these plastic parts and pieces that go into the system and then the constant uh, consumer purchasing of plastic jugs um, on a regular basis and all the industry that goes into manufacture all these things and all the driving to work and all that kind of stuff is somehow de decreasing emissions. But if, if that's the fact, we'll just we'll go with it. But uh, anyway, I, I, we have to deal with it because we have to put this into the truck or the truck won't operate. It's right. an extra fluid that we add along with diesel uh, uh, fuel to go down the road. Yeah, and they're very serious about it because if this system is not working or you do not have the DEF in the engine, uh, it will give you a warning that says you have 200 miles and then your truck will only go five miles an hour. Yeah. So it is a very serious problem. <laughs> yeah, and so we've had that uh, on occasion just when we were running low on fluid. It would tell us, hey, you got 200 miles uh, to go and, or your vehicle's going to drop down to five miles per hour. And so we would get that warning and, of course, we just go get some fluid and fill it up and be on our way. Now, um, a while back, we ended up having uh, some errors come up and I checked into those codes and did some research and it was involving the DEF pump for that fluid in its own separate tank. There's a pump in there. And so that, that pump was having problems. Um, just to move through this really quickly, they are extremely expensive. Very. I found one online for like 300 and some change. And so uh, I decided, you know, I'd be saving it uh, close to $1,000 by doing it myself easily. And so um, I went ahead and did it, and I'm glad I did <laughs> the research because another beautiful thing about this system is that the stuff is highly caustic. Yeah. Uh, it's not good for anything uh, other than apparently yeah. saving the environment. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I put the pump in and everything. Moving along quickly, it well, ended just up... just to oh. butt in here, it was uh, one of those 104 degree days yeah. when he was having to do this yeah. outside, of course, on the ground under the truck with actually no room to work at all with yeah. this caustic liquid. So, yeah. yeah, I did go through a little bit doing this, but I, I was trying to save a buck, yeah. if you will. So anyway, I got the pump, put it in. Uh, it lasted maybe, what, two months? Was it uh, that long? Maybe three. Maybe, maybe, maybe three months, and it failed. 
And so I started talking to a diesel mechanic and everything kind of uh, indirectly just to kind of get some intel before I let him know that I needed him. Um, and so, uh, you know, he, he gave me good straightforward uh, information and stuff and it resonated with what I had already studied. And so the manufacturer charges like 1700 and some dollars for the pump if you walk in off the streets. Dealer gets a, a little bit of a deal and I suspect that they have to keep that price uh, pretty standard uh, from the manufacturers so that they're not um, undercutting their uh, the dealers in the shops and things like that. <laughs> he ended up doing the work for us and putting in the other pump. Now there's uh, a lot that went into to that and cost wise it, it ended up being about the 700 uh, 1700 and something dollars to get it done close to 1800 but that included all their labor uh, reduced price on the part which i would and, and all the taxes which i wouldn't have got out of if i bought it myself it would have had tax on it it yeah. would have been more than what all that was yeah and we were just at the point where we needed somebody else to do this and take <laughs> on the responsibility and warranty and warranty <laughs> the work so once that new part was installed we were heading down the road i think we got three miles away and the pump failed. They ended up having to redo it the next day. They covered everything, the labor, the parts and everything and got it all done. And we've been on it now for a few weeks and I think that it's looking pretty good. And uh, we're, just, we're just hopeful, but that was quite an yes. ordeal. Very much a lengthy and costly ordeal and we are hoping that that is behind us now. <laughs> yes, we really, really, really don't want any more <laughs> truck issues. In working through all of these challenges, we have been trying to do something that we love as much as possible, and that is going hiking. Yeah, we absolutely love to hike. We try to squeak in a hike any chance we get. And if we can't do that, we'll walk and act like we're hiking because <laughs> yeah. we, we really enjoy it. And we've been doing our best to get out in the wilderness and uh, around here, the wilderness is desert. Yeah. And so that's mostly what we've been doing. We're hoping in the spring to get up into the mountains and do some of that type of hiking. But we've just uh, really had such a wonderful time in the, in the wild, just out uh, hiking around. It really helps our minds and, and gives us some peace. And it just, it's, just, it's nice to get away. Yeah. It just feels so, so good. And that brings me to something that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, because we do a lot of hiking, a lot of these videos that we do, uh, or we, we could do more videos, I should say, <laughs> if um, you want to watch hiking videos, because we can definitely uh, put some of those in uh, here and there and get more of that out there. And there's a lot of things that I like to talk about um, on, on hiking trips and stuff, the flora, the fauna, you know, different gear that was used, why we do this, why we do that. Uh, things about the area, all that kind of stuff, you know, so there's all kinds of things that uh, we're excited about hiking. So that's another uh, uh, level of uh, content creation that we can do for you. If you're interested in that, please let us know. And uh, also some of the uh, other video things that we can do has to do with um, some of the gear or products that we use and stuff. There are things that we get sometimes or purchase and we um, use them and yeah. get something out of them and they uh, help us and so we don't mind sharing those if you're interested in that uh, let us know about that too well that's a little bit of what we've been up to and what we plan to do in the near future please remember to share subscribe and click on that little notification bell thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching.